getting a lot of like classrooms who actually are eager to spend some time looking at the book, reading it together, discussing it, discussing the character, discussing facial expression, being made aware that this kind of balloon is for speed, this kind of balloon is a thought balloon, all of the um, vocabulary of comics have become so interested that if you do jagged edges to a balloon then the character is shouting, if you make the lettering bigger um, then it also means that the sound is louder, um, that uh, you can actually choose to show a scene either as a close-up or a long shot. Those are all uh, narrative techniques that kids are very interested in hearing named. One of the things we point out, for example, is that comics you cannot read in a monotone voice. In a way, they're kind of scripts for little uh, playlets. So when you read comics, you have to ham it up. You have to, when the character is uh, screaming, you have to raise your voice. And same thing like um, in terms of finding humor. Humor has a lot to do with timing. And it's very interesting for teachers. And not everybody, everybody assumes that just because it's comics, it's going to be easy. Actually, it's very difficult to talk about comics because it's, they are so concise. In some ways, I think that... You know, we say they're words and pictures, but James Sturm, who runs a school of comics in Vermont, talks about comics maybe more akin to graphic design and poetry. <laughs>